Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to talk about how gratitude can sometimes sabotage our life or how we can use how we can actually use sabotage gratitude to sabotage our life. Um, I've done this in the past. It's when you actually instead of leaving a crap situation you use the idea of oh I'm going to practice being grateful for everything I have in my life. I'm going to be grateful for the, the everything about the situation even if you're in a bad relationship I'm going to be grateful for the good things about the partner I'm going to be grateful for their good qualities that they have sometimes I'm, I'm going to be grateful for my arms, my legs, my eyes, my money, my home, my friends, my family it's not as bad, it could be worse, you know, it's not as bad as I may be thinking so we use it as a tool, like a tool like to paint over the holes in our life, the gaping gaps the sadnesses, the problems, the issues, the real things that aren't being fulfilled and met. So that's when gratitude can become imbalanced or like it's a beautiful thing to feel grateful but when we use it to cover up and paint over all the problems, the issues, the negatives, that's when it's absolutely not being used correctly. I've done this and what it does is it keeps you in a lesson for longer. Um, in my life what you want this, our life is full of challenges. We'll never have like an absence of challenges until the day we die. So, but sometimes we can spend like 15, 20, 30 years in the challenge or we can do it in like three, four or five years or two years or one year, six months. It depends what the soul contract is. It depends if it's a relationship or it depends what the challenge is if it's outside of a relationship. So when we finish one challenge, we go on to the next challenge and then the next one and then the next one. So it's up to us how fast we want to grow and learn and how long we want to stay in our challenges for. So letting go of cha ch overcoming challenges means letting go of our fears, letting go of our blocks, inner healing and especially also self-honesty. It, it involves being willing to let go of what we know or are comfortable with and to venture forth into the unknown which is fearful and we're afraid to do this generally. So what helps me and what helped me in my life to let go of big challenges and to, to learn from them is also to learn and to heal my own wounds and fears and insecurities and to pray and trust in higher power that everything will be okay and that I will be able to handle um, and that this, the new situation that I'm presented with, the uncertainty and the hole that I'm left with after I let go of my comfort zone. So, um, they say confidence is, is it's not just about feeling confident, but it's it's about being able to go forward and face fears. Is also it's about feeling that we can handle whatever comes at us. So we need to develop an attitude that we can handle whatever happens that no matter what happens, we can cope, we can do it, we can handle it and we can survive and we can even thrive. So it's about having faith and belief in yourself that no matter what happens, you and high powers, you can handle it. So have trust and faith and pray and ask for help and guidance and support and I promise you, you will be delivered and, um, and look out for the signs and you will see the signs, okay, Syn synchronicities will happen. So don't be afraid. You're not, you don't have to be a saviour, a rescuer, a carer for to stay in a bad relationship. People will be okay. They don't need you. If they need company or if they need support or they need help or they need friendship or they need care, there's a few billion other people on the planet apart from you. So don't think that you have to do this to rescue, save and care for people. This is a very female trait because society has made females think, you know, they have to be the nurturer, the carer, the, so the looking after people and it's not true that people are just going to die and wither without you. That's a false belief. It's a limiting belief that keeps you stuck in the lessons forever. We want to move on in life as a spiritual adventurer. We want to go on to the next challenges and learn and grow as a human divine being. So I encourage you from my heart and my sincerity, I want you to learn fast as fast as you want and um, to go forward to the next exciting phase of your life which I've done in my own life my own life and I've seen other people do in their life actually when you when we let go 
we let go of a bad relationship actually to be honest um, a challenging relationship and often it's a very much so a soul contract we give another person the opportunity to to go on to their next phase too which is exciting and good for them you know very lovely <clears throat> we don't have to think about well negatively about this stuff um, it's okay so i think i'll leave it with that video so i hope you get the gist don't use gratitude to paint over the negatives one last thing i want to cover is needs and like for example sometimes we need friendship in a relationship we need intimacy we need companionship we need affection we need people to listen to us we need someone to be willing to open to understand us um, we need to be understood we need to feel understood and loved and cared for um, we might need someone to have the same life direction as us compatibility matches in a relationship uh, we need a certain degree of social contact, social socialization. We need our freedom. We need to feel free to be ourselves, to be creative, not to be told what to do or smothered or um, controlled or lied or manipulated. So we also need our us time, our own personal space and time to regenerate, to have to ourselves, to be quiet, to just to rest and relax and unwind and from the day so we all need our own personal space as well as other things so if, if we find we're in a relationship where we're not getting our needs met and we're just with the wrong person gratitude is a ridiculous idea to try and stay in that relationship it's just totally not right and i hope you can see that from this video i hope it's helped and i want you to go and have a really 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 fantastic life and a very happy fulfilling life relationship and also things like career health friendships family life and um, if it's with kids or your own general family like your parents and your brothers and sisters i just want you to have a really really, really fulfilling good fun happy and exciting life so that's why i made this video and i hope it helped and i send you loads of love and light and peace from ireland today it's december so happy christmas time to you and your family and if you're interested in uh, buying any of my two books or life coaching or my higher self herbs web website 12 percent discount for the christmas time um, and 20 percent off for the first time subscribers just have a look below and check out my uh, links and description and other videos and little things I have below also. And I'd appreciate it also. If I'm grateful for anyone who feels inspired to share, like or subscribe or leave a comment or befriend me on Facebook. No pressure. You're free to do what you want. Lots of love and take care. Bye from Ireland from Owen. See you. Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox.